have the power source. Pack your stuff and move out. What? We're gonna walk out on the find of a lifetime? No. Now for this you'll need a frag grenade, two magsec fours and the mines in that order. Now there's a lot of things happening very quickly here. As soon as you gain control you're going to start moving forward and throw a grenade into the corner of the room in front of you. After that you're going to switch to dual magsec and then take cover against the wall. Once you've taken explosion damage You'll use the MagSec secondary fire to boost yourself through the wall. And I remember to not let go of the right bumper at any time because that will cancel the process and you'll have to start again. Eventually, you'll be pushed into the wall enough so that you can pass through it. Now you can wait until the shots are no longer damaging you to know for sure that you've got enough distance. But with enough practice you can get a good feel for when you're good to go. Ideally this should only take three or four clips. Once you're ready to get going you'll press A to uncover and left bumper and back to roll backwards at the same time. If you were far enough through the wall you'll end up out of bounds. From here, you'll angle yourself slightly to the right and roll backwards again. This may take some practice to find a setup that works consistently for you. Ideally, you'll land on the objective complete trigger. Good work, Joe. doesn't. Now, don't skip the cutscene straight away. If you do, it loads you back into the level as usual, but then reloads you back in a couple of seconds later again, which counts towards in-game time. It's safe to skip when Mayhem picks up the cam spy, but there's no harm in waiting longer. From here is the same as the glitchless route. Dodge and take out the first guy, then deal with the rest of the first wave. Their movements are somewhat random, though fairly predictable. Next, set a trap for the second wave of enemies. These spawn points are always the same, and if you get it right, the mission should complete as soon as they spawn in. You can also just take out the guy in the corner by yourself with no real time loss. And that'll do it for the level and for the 13th video in the series. Thanks for watching.